All right, never done this before. This is gonna be my first time, so I'm gonna be as harsh as possible. I'm gonna make it so you guys will never wanna do this again. No fun allowed. I am going to appreciate what you guys did because you guys took the time to do this. Secondly, I don't know how to do this, as in I literally asked April to show me earlier and I already forgot, so we're gonna learn how to do it together. Okay, you know I hate to do ratings, right? Like I absolutely think that they're, they're really, really awful, they're pointless, and they don't serve a purpose. I genuinely think that I could actually pull it off today. I'm gonna I'm gonna rate everything after I'm done with it. I'm gonna give it an arbitrary number, letter, symbol, whatever. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna do it. I was told to do this on like a big lot in case you guys didn't use that lot like you were supposed to. So I gotta figure out how to find a thing. Okay. So how do I do it? It's not big enough. Why did you choose a different lot? It's literally you had to use the one lot for it and that's it. Isn't that the whole point? You literally build i want to be creative you have to be creative within the scope that i give it disqualified instantly a one already hold on i have to find a bigger lot then there is no lot rules yes there was in my mind it was literally this i've never done this before but i just assumed you guys were going to literally sit there on the one lot the one thing and make that like a livable house it already was but now I have to do extra work. If this isn't big enough, then this is on you guys. 40 by 30 is way too much. Okay, here we go. We have it. We have all of the things. This is actually a lot better than I thought, fellas. That's good. Nice job. Thanks for the turnout. Does anybody want to go first? I'm going to do it like school. If Whoever wants to go first, say me, smile or something, and then I'll go ahead and do it. It's going to be like school where those that go first, are gonna. it's going to be way more lenient. Me, pick me. As soon as you're disqualified, you're not even in here. Let's do a little, like, summary of what of what it is real quick, okay? So I made a really cool lot that I think is amazing. Literally, all I did was add a tree, a palm tree in the middle with, like, a weird little pool thing, and then a basement, and then two stories on top of that. This is the description, aka the rules. You have to have the tree in the middle, and that's it. So you guys are right about the lot size thing. So we'll look at it originally, and then I'll move and do the other ones. Okay. So this is the opening house, right? Right here. Wait a minute. Why does this look really bad? So this is the default house, okay? This is the uh, initial shell. Original shell. The big thing was that you had to have the tree in the middle. You didn't necessarily have to have the pool. I just wanted this really stupid tree in the middle. That's it. And then the rest, there's like a downstairs. This is the base floor. And then there's a downstairs if you wanted. That's it. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, I'll go check out your guys' stuff. I'm going to move left to right. I'm just going to go down the line. All right. This is by MC McRuse 10. This will be the first one we look at. Okay. Well, I, like, the first thing I'm going to say is this looks actually really good. <laughs> right off the bat, this is way more impressive than I thought. But just based off of this appearance, it looks really good. I would probably actually like go into this house. So let's start with the outside. So far, look at that dude, that's actually sick. This is the path, okay? We're walking right here. This is us, but we're going this way. Follow the mouse. So the first thing I notice is that we have this like patio greenhouse thing. Well, actually it's just a glass house, but I think a greenhouse. That's pretty cool. I like that in the front actually. And the hedges and stuff, this is very like scenic. Very cool. I'm not really sure what this is. It's like an overgrown fountain, but I like the appeal of it. It is kind of weird that there's nothing else there. It just feels like a part of an old house that was never taken down, but it is cool looking for sure. I do like all this. It's very cool, very neat. I do like this bench. I don't know what that is. It looks really weird. These are weird like kitty litter boxes. I'm not sure what their appeal is, but in all offense, this crushes your terrible house. Shut up. So the outside, pretty clean. I don't like these three boxes. I feel like this is a backyard thing, but unless there's like a fence in the front of this, I feel like there needs to be something else. Cause like this is, I just don't like this being by itself. And I don't really like these just chilling here. You know, I feel like there needs to be a fence. Okay. These, this, there needs to be a fence or something here. I don't like this tree. It's too like bulbousy. I do like all of this though in the front it looks sick. I actually think the front, the front porch is very cozy. I like the, the theme too. It's very neat. I don't know what this is, but it looks very neat. Looks like a bumblebee. So like as we come in here, I actually really like this too. It's very like, it's very open, but it's very, it's like very homely. 
and very cool. I actually really like the appeal of this a lot. This front porch area is very nice. I like it. I love how it connects right into this little uh, other area as well. It's pretty neat. Okay, so we walk inside and the first thing I think of is weed because of the green. This clearly is just weed everywhere. I'm fine with that. That's fine. Well, that's pretty cool. You have like a little cozy, uh, what is this, a potato plant? Neat. You got some shoes, all that stuff. You're missing half a rug in the front. That's fine. I do like it. I'm not, I don't, I don't know if I like this particularly because that's really inviting for those that are here. Like they come into your house and then they can sit down. I don't, I don't like that. I don't want people to feel like they're able to stay very long. Okay, jokes aside, I actually do like this weird, like, it, it looks oddly really nice to have this, what is this, like a dark mahogany? I don't know what, what this wood is. I like this in the green, actually. It looks really, like, it's pleasant to me. Then you go into the kitchen, which is, uh, okay, I feel really poor looking at this kitchen. This is actually really nice. Now I wonder if I actually know anything about style and grace very cool it's very open there's a lot of room to like move around and stuff i like it quite a bit and there's like just the perfect amount of like cu uh, clutter and stuff on the what are those countertops oh my god you have the the hidden delicacies too that's that's classy right there that's actually classy not the fruit this thing this brings it all together it's like you turn the corner and it's like how could it get any better than this bam croissant so we'll go upstairs, check out this room. So then we go into the wing, all right, right above the kitchen. First of all, whoever designed this house, absolute idiot, because I would hate to live above the kitchen. That sounds awful. Secondly, unrelated, this is pretty nice. I don't, I mean, I don't know if I like the idea of having like a bed right here and just being able to like have, I don't know, it feels weird to not have some sort of privacy, right? Very weird to me. But I can definitely see how that works. If I could have a door here, that'd be sick. And then you have a fairly large room. Ooh, I like that mat, though. Rug. What is this? Dresser? All right. It's a lot of flowers, a lot of foliage here. Actually, really nice. There's there's too many windows. And then we, uh, we, uh, we'll come over here. I do kind of like this, actually. It's like such a weird... This is like such a weirdly good decision right here. I really like this because it's like this weird, like, pseudo outside. Look at that. That looks so cool, too. It's like a weird pseudo outside balcony, but not really. It's like a different, it's just different. It's nice. It doesn't need a railing or anything special. It's just like, you just, you step outside, you do a weed and then you go back inside. It's nice. I really like the color palette too. The theme is actually really nice. Um, and then obviously you come over here. If this is again, modeled after my upstairs area, it would be, this would actually be so much better than what I have, you know, streaming setup. Actually, I don't like the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna inject myself in this situation. I don't like this situation right here with the windows cause of like light glare and stuff, but obviously this is not designed for me. I do like it regardless. I don't like having windows near my computer cause of glare or anything like that, but it does look really nice. I don't like the windows here. This one's fine. I don't like the two here though. Um, it is nice though, cause you have these good old hedges and stuff the plants kind of blocking the view from outside so people can't see what i'm looking at i like that that's good then you have the good old bathroom it's very very good and very generic the shower is very excellently placed the only problem is instead of these two like shutter windows you need to have a giant xl window if you're taking a shower the world needs to know okay i'm a little disappointed there's no sloth paintings or anything hidden no painting of any kind, just a bunch of nice foliage, very pleasant to look at. Nothing weird, which I, I need weirdness in my house, okay? That's why I like this. This is very fucking off. This is so odd to me, but I like it so much. <laughs> this is so fucking weird, but I like it so much. You get points for that. So, so far, house, pretty nice. I like it. Very aesthetically pleasing. Pretty straight, pretty straight edge. Nothing, nothing weird or fancy. Now this is really interesting to me. Look at this hallway. This is really unique. This makes me feel like I'm in some kind of Scooby-Doo horror mystery movie. I don't know why, but this is the theme I get when I walk down here. I feel like I'm gonna, like a ghost is going to come out of one of these windows slash curtains at any time. And if it's during the day and I feel like it's, this is too noble for me, I don't want to walk down this hallway because I don't have that royal grandeur. Too fancy for me, too much stuff going on. But I mean, like, I just like the color palette a lot though. It just looks really nice. But let's go down the hallway. So we enter this room, the other wing. This is pretty cozy. It's like a uh, living room-ish. Yeah, it's, it's the living room, cool. Very fancy. 
Very, very cool. Deduction points right here. Um, I don't want to see the floor. It's just too clean. If I look down and see myself, that's just minus one point. So we walk in. First thing you see, pretty generic. Not bad. Like, you know, straightforward, cutting edge, little, little half bath kind of situation. Oh, wait. No, it's got it all. We're good. Full bath. Uh, no bathtub though, so can't take showers in that. Nice little, uh, what, what, what are these? I don't like these curtains. I don't know what those things are I'm thinking of, but it reminds me of like a heater. Like a standing heater. I don't know if I like that. They overlap quite a bit too. I don't, I don't know how to feel about this right here. Maybe if these were moved, I guess. I don't know. This, this bugs me and it shouldn't. So let's go out to the living room. I kind of like this. This is nice. It's good. I like that it's crooked. Makes me feel like very homely. So we have a very generic, eh, I wouldn't say generic. It's a very aesthetically pleasing setup here. We got this screen here, a little flat screen. We got some nice little dogs and cats. We have a pair. That's a good touch. I like that. I don't know why a lamp's here and why it's on. We got more, more foliage here. Nice. Another potato plant tree. Okay, so it just connects. I do like this actually quite a bit. I like that there's multiple entrances into the house. So like at night, I feel compelled uh, to lock everything multiple times. It gives me routine to have to like walk around the house. I like that. That's nice. Okay, let's go upstairs and check out this room. Okay, you got some, you got some similar stuff going on here. So the first thing I see when I come up here, I see this. This is, this is good. I like this. I don't know what this is. Chad, what is, when you see this, what does it emit? What do you think of this? Navajo blanket. Excellent. Salsa. I don't know what I see when I look at this, but I really like it. It's really bizarre to me. So you guys walk in, more potato plants. Chill little room, you know, maybe maybe study-ish. Come in here, read a book. And this is obviously a bedroom. Okay, that's a good touch. I like the rabbit. Look at him, he's like a, he's got that playful eye as soon as you come in, you know? That's good, that's, that's nice. This feels really congested to me, which I actually unironically really like. I love when stuff's really tight-knit and very like tight-quartered. This is actually a really interesting design that I actually really like. Because when you walk in, the first thing you see obviously needs to be the rabbit. Because he's giving you the eye. And then you have the bed right in front of you. I actually really like this because two two things. One, it's tight-knit. There's not a lot of, like, you don't have to move around that much. And two, if you need to use the restroom and you're in a hurry, you can actually just roll across the bed. I think that's really awesome. That's cool. And then you have the bathroom over here. Very nice. So we go over here. Pretty, yeah, you put your clothes away. Pretty nice. Yeah, get a little... A mirror there. This is like a nice little cozy nook. I like this kind of a lot, actually. It's it's weird because, I don't know, there's a lot going on in this corner, but not really. I just like tight-knit things, man. It's like, it's a good clutter. The moment I've been waiting for. Let's go outside and look at the, the cream of the crop. The palm tree. Very, very pleasant, man. That's like the biggest takeaway is that this is an extremely pleasant looking house. It makes me feel like I'm trapped, but in a good way. All right, I have to take away points. There's only one way in or out. What happens, Matsky, if there's a fire? You can't go in the water. You can't. It's an aesthetic pond. Ooh, I like the fish though. That's a, that, that's such a good touch. I like that. Fish out of water. Pretty, pretty nice. Got some nice lamps in there. I do like the llama. That's good. Very, very pleasant. Very chill. Who would live here? Somebody that's well off, obviously. I feel like if you lived here, you would probably... I know they have, like, the front area to, like, relax and chill and play in the cat litter boxes or whatever. But, like, they need, a, they need like, chairs or something outside here, too. I don't know what this is. Is this, like, a rock formation? What, I mean, obviously, it's something. Is this a high dive? It's a diving board? No, this is a rock for... This is part of the thing from Fantastic Four. This is not a diving board. This is a chimney. I do like this, though. Kind of gives it, like, the weird gr Roman Greek vibe. Kind of like Hercules. You know, those, like, the statues and stuff? Very, very reminiscent of that. Um, yeah, I think that's probably it. Very, very cool, though. I think, overall, if I had to give it a grade... Actually, let me see what you guys say about it, because I already know what I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a... I already know the, the number I'm going to give it. I think overall it's a very, very fancy house. Very well done. The palm tree immediately already pushes it to a C. It's a very good looking house. Obviously you have to have a little bit of money to live there. Pretty nice. I think it, I think it's a solid house. 
It's a great, it's a great house. 10 out of 10? You guys are giving it 10 out of 10. All right, well, I'm gonna give it the old stamp. I'm gonna give it an A out of 10. I think it's an, it's a well-deserved A. And since you went for, like first, you can have a little bit of extra points and I'll give you an A plus. It was good. The scale goes up to an S, but that's pretty good. Nice job. Some, some negatives, which I can't just say only positives. I think that given the shitty house design that I gave you guys, you made it work the best you can. I don't really typically care for this hallway that much. It's really hard to do something unique with this because you already did something over here. You can't emulate this. I get that. Um, very, very difficult. Reminds me of a horror movie, which is kind of good and also bad. I don't want to feel like I'm dying if I'm walking down a hallway. Uh, I don't like that these are right here. I feel like there needs to be some kind of fence or something here. These are like out in the open. What's going to stop the mailman from coming in, stealing a lemon and walking away? Or a potato. Same thing with this. This feels too open to me. Overall, pretty good. That's like that. Those are some minor complaints. That's it. Ness. Ness, you're up. Glass case of emotion. Did you give it a description? You really need to download this one to get the full experience. The last two photos are junk and I don't know how to or if you can change them. I agree. Very beautiful indeed. This is beautiful, says Vicky, Vicky Voff to Shink O Kitty Cat. I agree. Very beautiful indeed. All right. Let's give it a go. So this is a glass case of emotion by Ness. Oh my God. The first thing I can think of is like, this is such a morbid thought. If you went into this room, you would be dead because of the sun. Like, I'm just assuming it's 90 degrees out like it is today and you're sunbathing. I'm dead. Like I go upstairs, instantly just done. The glass amplifies this so much that you're just instantly gone. Creative though. <laughs> um, and then we have the top here. Is this like the, the roof? That's actually really cool. I like that. It's really tall. It has the glass. It, it has the palm tree. All right. Instantly a C already. Got some nice little trees here. A little good stuff going on. So this, what's this fella? That is some steep ass stairs. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you guys remember when I went on my like whatever is eight mile hike? This is unfortunately for Ness, a negative thought of mine because I had to climb something like this to go home. And when I got to the top, I could feel my heart coming out of my, out of my chest. <laughs> we have the nice little barbecue area. Interesting design to put it right here. It's so weird to me that of all the places you'd put this, you'd put it right here. This is actually genius because you can sit down and grill and talk to people while you're doing it. And because I recently just went outside and was grilling stuff, I understand Standing is tough. Actually genius play. And I like the plants. They're nice. I feel like you are missing a little bit of stuff. Maybe here. I don't know. You know how like there's always... Okay, hold on. That's that's like plus 10 right there. It's very hard to get a single point. This alone saves this area a hundred times over. Just based off of the outsides. Very, very unique. I, I don't know how healthy this is. But... I would never think of this, and because of that, that's very creative to me. Very unique, very cool style. I feel like this would be a really good greenhouse. And I like it because it's something I would never think of. Again, I would never go in there because I don't want to die. I do like this too. It's very, like, fancy. It's like an oddly casual but very fancy, like, piece at the same time. I have some interesting thoughts about the brick. I think that's a lot of brick. They're very, very pillory, which I don't know how to feel about. I feel like they're really thin strips of bacon. So there is a basement. I do I do notice the basement here. Um, it's a very it's a very minimalistic take on a basement, right? This is this is this is art at its core. This is a take on society. I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be, but I like that it goes down to the basement. There's nothing there. <laughs> we go inside. We can see it's a very like Okay, this is probably the best word for it. This is probably like the most generic looking setup, I think. But I'm such a like a normal person that I actually really appreciate simplicity and I like it a lot. I feel like these need to be closed off though. It's too much space. I do like the art. This gives me the f the, the false illusion of, of fancy. It feels like I'm in an art museum being curated. Uh, we'll go to the left here. Okay, it's very open. There's a lot of room for things. Very open. I feel like this is Ness's like dream uh, living room. There's like nothing here. Oh, look at this. 
There is something here. A pretty little like cherry blossom tree thing. Nice. I think this is the ideal setup though, because for Ness, the only thing he's missing is like maybe, maybe one of those TV stands. You have a TV stand underneath the TV and it's just got your SNES, your NES, your N64, your PlayStation 1. You have all the OG retro games and then maybe like right here is like a stat, like a bookshelf full of those old games or something. That's like the only thing I can think of and I feel like this room again is so simplistic and minimalistic. I actually really like it, but the only thing I do is like close these off, maybe add like some really dumb sloth picture right there. Have some like a bathroom or a rug in the corner. All right, so the corridor ends and then you can go outside in the back. I feel like this is missing something. There's like, I mean, I know you already have a barbecue thing above, but I feel like there's something missing here. Maybe you need like a garbage can. Maybe this is where you put the people you don't want at the party. You know, maybe like somebody brings a plus one and you don't know them and they turn out to be cringe. So you have to put them out here. So maybe, I don't know, like a backyard pool would be cool. Oh, I like the, the road. Actually, that's nice. This has definite resort vibes 100 percent right here it's got those very generic like you see them all the time at hotel resorts all of, all the time these very specific like lean back chairs are always there you have the sand you have the grass you have the tropical amazing palm tree kudos by the way very nice touch then we go inside and then this is the kitchen Ooh, what do we have here why is there a shovel <laughs> What kind of steaks you bringing home, Ness? Why, why do you need a shovel? <laughs> so we have a very cool art piece here. Very, very fancy, formal. I feel like I need a reservation to sit down here. So obviously I'll just sit at one of the bar stools. I like this. It doesn't, in my mind, doesn't entirely match the other side of the room, but I do like the way it looks. I do really have a special spot for these things, the kinds of wood this is. I don't know what they are, but I like it quite a bit. I don't know why the cutlery is right here. I don't know why I'm going to nitpick about that, but I feel like this needs to be over a little bit or somewhere else. Because what happens when dumbass me decides to grab this, what is this, a screwdriver? I don't, why is there a screwdriver? Okay, so I grab this screwdriver and I drop it behind the oven on accident. Okay, so this little cubby goes upstairs, which is a good segue. Oh, we'll go upstairs. Wait, what? Hold on. That's not an upstairs. What the hell is this? Okay, this is a pantry. W well played. That's a pantry. <laughs> okay, then we'll go over here. We'll go upstairs. All right. We go upstairs. Okay, Ness. I am going to do my absolute best. What is this room? This feels like the lobby to some kind of business. Janet is right here answering the phones. Or Jeremy. They're sitting there answering the phones in their executive chair. There's not even a place to sit. This place is so, like, prestigious. This makes me, like, want to inquire about what business is here. Okay, and then we'll go outside across the balcony. I actually really like this. This looks nice. I don't know how to feel about the bricks. I feel like they're way too thin. Hence the weird bacon expression earlier, because bacon strips are thin, typically. Um, I do like it. These these pillars look way too thin to me. I want them to be girthy and fat. Like these. I like these columns right here. I don't trust these. I do like the lights, though. So we'll walk across. Looks very nice. Oh, my God. The secret gym. This is what you need a membership to right here. Right here. This is where Jeremy was at. He says, you go up to him, you say the secret code, right? He's sitting in the exec chair. You give him the secret code. He lets you in. I don't know why these are un... <laughs> these are painted. No, they are painted. Through sweat, blood, and tears. You have a smoke detector in case people run way too fast. That's smart. Bunch of towels. You gotta wipe down the machines and stuff. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Generic. You got the little... Uh, popsicle stick thing you punch. Alright, go upstairs. And then when you're done... Perfect. Lo and behold, go up to the greenhouse and you're just, you're literally done. Like, this is over. This is end game. You go up here and you get roasted immediately. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. I see. I see. That, that, that's a pretty cool gimmick. It's got the lights on it. All right. So it's got the illusion of, like, of outside. 
or like daytime, but inside kind of thing. Pretty cool. Oh, right. This is above uh, Janet and Jeremy's setup. Okay. Ooh, ooh, I like that. This is such a dumb reason to like this. I don't care what you guys think or say, though. Uh, when you're done, you come over here, you're tired. Um, you come up the stairs, and there, I'm assuming there's a door here. It doesn't let me look. Oh, there is no door. Ness, what the fuck? <laughs> Why is there no door here? Is your bathroom floor open, too? This is glass? Wait a minute. Hold on. There's no privacy. What is this? Dude, I'm a very private person. How am I supposed to live in this house? The mailman's gonna see me like, not even just a mailman. Everybody that walks by here or across the street's gonna be like, oh, there goes old Joe flossing with his towel again. There he goes. He's just doing his stuff. I do like this little setup though. I feel like it's really cool because this at least gives you a little bit of time when, when somebody's like running up the stairs, you know? They're running like a dog with their hands and their feet. Buys you time. To like stop whatever you're up doing up here. Um, it is really cozy though. I like it. It's a little cozy little nook. Now this is really unique to me. I feel very shameful when I take showers. So I don't like this. I don't like the fact that, you know, Jimmy from across the street literally can watch me take a shower. I don't like that. But aside from that, it's a very unique take. Something I, again, I would never think to do. I do like the creativity quite a bit. Definitely very creative here. The creativity of this is actually crazy nice. It's really cool. Something I never would think to do would to make the world's tallest. Like, let's be honest, I stay here for a month. My cardio is through the roof. Like, I am so in shape now. What do you guys what, what do you guys think? I think it's a very, very creative house for sure. I definitely would never think to do this. I the glass is like gene it's like it's psychotically genius. Pretty good. Ten out of ten. So if I had to give it any any kind of rating, a value rating, it would be a B. And since you went early, you get a plus, so it's a B plus. All right, who's next? Okay, so let's go flip it on to afternoon. So my first impression with this screams pretty pog because look at all the coconuts and stuff, all the trees fits so well aesthetically, very cool. I like the yellow, reminds me of sand. When you first come in, I actually really like, it's just such a weird statement to make. I like when there's a gate, like it's gated. It gives me that like weird protection feeling, I guess. I'm not sure how to put it. I just really like it when there's fences and gates. It kind of like sets a, it's like a boundary for your house. I, I like it quite a bit. The brick on top, very nice, very touch. Very good touch, I mean. Not very touch, very good touch. This is when you come inside. Ooh, nice. See, this is a good touch right here. The gnome. Look at him. He's got like a gun thing in his his hand. That's a briefcase. Oh. I like it already because of all the foliage and the rocks. It gives it that like really homely feel. And then you come over here and then there's... Uh, this is nice. Is it roofed? Is it woofed? It is not. This is definitely Arizona. There's no roof here. You, you, the, Meg definitely, definitely thought that this was in a place that doesn't rain. Think again. This rains here. Your chessboard, gone. Waterlogged. Destroyed. Your pieces, taken by pigeons. Gotta have some kind of roofing. There needs to be some something else out here. You know how, like, everybody has, like, a thing outside that they have just kind of, like, for looks? Because let's be real, no one's going to play chess outside. Now, this is really cozy. I like this. I can see myself actually using this and like having a friend over here telling me how to, to, to grill stuff that's drinking a beer. I, I like this. Very, very realistic. Very good touch. So we go inside. Man, I really screwed you guys on this, didn't I? On these really small interiors. Wow, it's this is 100% made in mind that it's warm here all the time because of this. Like, it's very, very open. But for the sake of making it funnier to me, I'm going to assume that this is in Portland, Oregon, where it rains like over half the year. Um, but you first come inside, very, very open, no doors, very open uh, floor plans. We'll start over here because I've been starting on the, the left. So we come in right away, kitchen. Amazing. You know why? Food. Wait, what's this? <laughs> That's a good touch. Again, I'm a sucker for the, the dark wood. It looks so nice. And then the yellow theme kind of looks like a bumblebee, sort of. 
Those guys are wicked. We have some wine here. Nice. Fellow alcoholic. Uh, we've got some... Some nice fruit. Some good plates. Or frisbee discs. Nice plant. Really good decor. This is the fancy china. No one uses it. Ooh, I like this. Now, I kind of like this room because this is something I would probably like in real life. I, I kind of like that it's not divided. Very nice little hangout place. It's very cool. Nice rug. Big plant. As long as it doesn't lean into my, my TV, sh my soap operas, I'll be good. Oh, there's a basement. Oh, oh boy, I'm excited. What's down there? Nice, nice little hallway. Actually, it looks really good. I really did screw you on the... On this hallway, didn't I? And this one. But you guys did good. The arches, very, very nice touch. This feels a lot better to me. It's like cluttered, but in a good way. It is really open though. And those pigeons and the draft are all going to come flying in and it's going to be all awful. All right, we have a, let's go to the middle. Let's appreciate the middle. I do really like the theme though, because this is obviously based out of somewhere very warm. There's a barbecue. Good touch. There's a bar. Very good touch. There's no chairs or anything, though. And there's, like, this little setup, which is really nice. But I also feel like maybe there needs to be, like, a chair here. I don't know, a bench or a bed, like, right here. There needs to be a little bit more. So then we go inside. It's very open. Oh, there, okay, there, there's two separate rooms. See, I don't like this that much, just because I, I like to be private. The, arch the arches, the arches leads directly into the bedroom, which has a TV. Okay. All right, I have some problems with this room now. Pretty cozy room, though. I like how small it is. I don't like when TVs are accessible from my bed because I will be sitting there watching TV all day or Twitch or something. So I don't like the, I don't like the TV there because I know I'll abuse it. Nice room, though. Then we have a bathroom right here. Pretty cool, pretty nice. I don't know what this is. This looks like cocaine or something. Very fancy. Ooh, I like that. Is it a penguin? Okay, that's not a penguin. You know what? It is a penguin. This is abstract art. I, art. I can interpret it any way I want. That's a penguin. That's its beak. That's its head. That's its body. He's sliding. It's a very cozy living room. Very, very cozy. Um, we go upstairs. We see the grand piano. This is like my favorite instrument of all time. This is a hobby room. Very clearly a hobby room. Um, ooh, I like that. Nice. You could like step outside. You could wave at people, or you could pop it open and play music. You could be that neighbor, which is actually very cool. You can just pop open the doors and be an asshole to everybody, you know. Then we have another room. I like this room a lot better than downstairs because downstairs is like way too open, literally because there's no door. But this one, this is like ideal right here. This is perfect. Super small, super tight. Has everything you need, no TV, just just perfect. Nice bathroom too. Very nice. I actually really like that. It's it's just like so simplistic. Pretty nice though, ultimately. I like it. This is uh I didn't even know this was in the game. I'm learning so many things. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So then we'll go across this thingy. I actually really like this. I, I don't know why, but I always like the fences, gates areas. Just having this like half rail. I don't know, it feels nice to just be able to like put your hand on it and walk across or, I don't know, have some kind of safety net. So it leads into this area over here. Interesting choice. Interesting. So you walk in and there's no door here, but it is like, it leads to an exercising room with another TV. Nice. Meg keeping it really clean with no wall or uh, wallpaper there. I like this, uh, the black mat too. That actually feels realistic, because usually they have like rubber mats or whatever for the weights. Uh, it's perfect too, because it lines up really well with the uh, elliptical, because if you if you eat it, it's not going to make that much noise. And then we have the children's room, which is super well decorated and hopefully going to be never used if I lived here personally. Um, they have their own secret little bathroom, which is pretty cool. Actually, I'd make my friend stay in here and have it just have a bunch of like weird little kid stuff. Like Miskin, if he ever came over, I'd... I'd make him sleep on the bottom bunk and I'd sleep downstairs or something. <laughs> but this would be the guest room, you know, unless you have kids and I guess it's their room, whatever. Pretty neat. Nice. Oh, I like that touch. Little heart guy. Now this is a good, this is good. I like this. There's nothing here. 
<laughs> you guys ever been to the zoo? The aquarium? You ever want to see real fish, real people swim like fish? Look no further. Come on over to the Desert Oasis family home. We have front row seats to watching people swim around in the water. Pretty sick. Pretty cool looking house. Very, very open, which I don't like personally because of where I come from. But I feel like that's pretty normal for hot areas. So I'll try and overlook that. You have the palm tree. You took literally the entire thing, just added on to it. So I'll give you bonus points for that. This is probably like B plus, maybe A minus territory for sure. I like the, the color schemes too. It's pretty, pretty good. I'll do instant crazies next. So first of all, this is kind of crazy looking already. Like, wow. I don't know how to feel about this. How do you guys feel about this already? Just like right off the bat. This is actually really cool looking. This is roofed and has glass. Very, very neat idea. Man, you guys are crazy creative. That's interesting right there too. Damn, look at that backyard. Sick. Very, very nice. I do like the all this stuff. There's so much stuff, right? Like, I don't know what this is. This is... I don't know if I like that, but there's a lot of, like, green stuff, which is nice. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, that's... Wow. Alright. Very cool looking right off the... Like, right out of the gate. Very, very cluttered. Lots of stuff in here. Very, like... What's the word? Bold might, might fit it because of the red, but it's also, like, very tame. I don't want to say lifeless, but kind of? Well, already. I mean, this is this is a winner already. Fantastic. What is this? The chicken? Isn't this like a thing in this game? You just put chickens in the kitchen or is like a thing in general? The red is very bold. It's very like... It's like... I don't know. It's very artistic-y. It's really mellow with a huge hint of like aggression and boldness. It really stands out. Oh, I like that half wall. That's actually neat. That's a, okay, there's a lot of chickens and stuff. Too many chickens in this already. If I find another one, I swear. All right. I don't like the glass table. Um, it does fit the house though, pretty well. Not sure I'm a fan of it, ultimately. I feel like it's just like, it's too, I don't like eating on glass, personally. Very pretty looking though, matches quite a quite quite well. Nice little grandfather clock, and pretty cool window into the outside. Very nice. Interesting choice to clog up the hallway. Very interesting. And we have this. Ooh, I like this actually quite a bit. Look at that. That's nice. Two giant glass window panes looking outside. That's that's cool. Wow, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna go over here because this this caught my attention. Look at this right now. This is such a unique, like, outside patio type deal. Very cool take. Very, very cool. It's got an outside bar. It's got the, I don't know, what, what, I forgot what this is called. A top. <laughs> it's one of those top things. With all these cool plants. Nice barrel garbage. Good barbecue. This is, like, really nice. I, like, there's so many terms I don't know that I feel like would apply here so well. But this patio-type deal is very nice. It's a very cool outdoorsy feel while also remaining indoors. Uh, very neat. You can let the breeze come in with the, the kind of paneling that's here. I could see myself having lunch out there on the occasion, for sure. This hallway is, like, super nice, open. Lots of windows. Again, that's kind of on me. Lots of windows. Tons. So we go into this room. I gotta say, right off the bat, I really like this. Very, very, very cool. I really like the color palette here. It's like very like mellow, very chill, very relaxed. I don't quite get this underneath the stairs at all. I feel like this would be a storage spot for me, but that's probably fine. Little violin. Definitely very cool. Um, I don't like the window here because if I'm sitting here trying to watch a show. Like, I know the blinds exist, I just don't like the idea of somebody like, I don't know, what if there's a guy watching with me from outside, you know? What if there's a dude watching Enter the Spider-Verse with me, and I didn't even know it? Very nice touch on the mirrors. That's such an artistic take. It's so, like, it's so uniquely odd. Nice little talking thing. That's a pretty, that's so weird, but cool. I really like that. I like the stairs leading up too. That's pretty neat. That just goes to the hallway. Wow, there is a lot going on here. Dude, this is crazy. There's so much stuff. You guys are insanely creative. Look at these. These crazy pictures. You got some 
creepy whatever this thing is because of the hand. The cat's all right. Windows, chill little spot. You got your Commodore 64 right here. Nice little dial-up. Very fancy. Nice business racing gaming chair. All right. So we open up. You know, we see you got some nice nothings going on here. That's fine. You don't need stuff in every possible room, walkway, whatever. Then you get to the hallway, and then you get to the first room. Very interesting uh, room. Very cozy, very small. Really like it, and I, I do like this uh, this balcony right here. Very, very neat. I feel like this would be really cool to like come out here and read a book or something at night with the light on. Just something mellow, you know? Something like on a hot summer day. What is this? Oh, it's a closet. Isn't it? Interesting. Why would you put a clown picture in here? Oh, and they have the bathroom as well. This is a master bedroom. My god. Very nice. Lots of stuff in there. Very cluttered. Very clean, though. Tons of pictures. Those are cool looking. We got the hallway. There's some junk in there. Very well done. Then we go out here. This is like a gardener's dream home. This right here. Absolutely incredible. There's so much foliage, so much plants, so much stuff. So you green thumb this, and then you go across, and then you have the kids' room again. This is where Miskin's going to be sleeping. Got some cats and dogs. That's a dog. That's also a dog. So you got double dog. Nice. Pretty, pretty decent little bathroom. I really, for some reason, like this. I don't know why it doesn't fit, but it does at the same time. Skylight in the bedroom and bathroom. Oh, yeah. Good call. Wait, no. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Kind of. I forgot about that. Nice. Very, very unique take on the bathrooms. Super, super neat. I like the, the weird little zigzag. They have a patio again, or a balcony, sorry, but it connects the two rooms. That's, that's really, really unique. That's a very cool design. So you go through that, these doors. This is obviously my room. I mean, like, this is a perfect. You have all my stuff there on the counter. You got my little tablet guy. My llama. I mean, this is it. Like, this is very spot on. Very nicely done. Never mind. I don't share rooms. This isn't my room anymore. Downstairs is connected to the outside. I don't know if I like the idea of of things being open like this. Like, having the arches like that. It feels so weird to me. Very cool, though. It's very clean looking. It has the palm tree, so obviously it has to be... It's a C already, you know? Or 5, I guess. 5 out of 10. Nice little chess area. No one's going to use it. Pretty neat aesthetic. Nice little resting spots. Couple of chairs, benches, a hose. Nice. Drink out of that when you get tired. Oh, there's stuff inside the pool, too. Nice. That's really, really aesthetically pleasing. So we'll go downstairs. This is weirdly cultish. <laughs> There's like, I feel like when you have candles like this that aren't like in the bedroom or something, it, it just feels very cultish. It's very cool with like the walls, like it fits really well. It just, it rubs me a weird way. Very nice house though. I think ultimately that's a really nice house. I'd probably give it like a solid 8 out of 10. It was very well done. I just don't want to give anybody a, a 9 or a 10 or an S or anything like that. So very well done. Very good. I, I think it was very, very nice. Uh, this is definitely a house where based off of the basement uh, and those candles, those red, the red candles, they, they definitely have some sort of satanic cult ritual thing going on. Um, they like empty the pool and you know, weird shit happens. Uh, very nice, though. Very nice house. All right, Ashley, let's see what you got. Okay, all right. I like it, dude. Right off the bat, this feels like a horror movie. <laughs> no good comes from this when you're strolling up and walking through a hedge maze. There's no way that anything good comes from this. Nice little decorations on the outside. I feel like these are really creepy looking. Um... But I do like the hedge maze thing. I feel like this is very, very difficult to maintain. But if you could pull it off, pretty cool. Then we'll start on the inside. Interesting color of green or blue. I don't know what that is, but interesting. Okay, so I can't help but notice right off the bat the creepy-ass gnomes. I have to give extra points because weird shit like that's really weird but cool. So, more points. Okay, catch my eye. Let's go over here. So we first see a good old aquarium. I don't like aquariums because they're very, unless this is self-cleaning, 
in which case it's fine. I do feel like it fits the aquatic theme we got here. Ooh, I like this. This is nice. We have the cat thing. So obviously you have a cat or a small dog. Good touch. There she is. Ashley definitely wins because the weird factor and the good art choices. I do like the uh, the black on white on blue. I think it looks nice. The flamingo is a good touch. The, the creepy hand, I don't like. The two little gold fox cat things are pretty cool. I like the, the TV. This room is just solid. I think it's a good room. It's like the amount of stuff is like really, really good. The ratio is nice for like movement. You know, if I want to do a backflip or something, because I'm clearly capable of doing one. Um, and then it looks like we have a, ooh, a little bathroom. Well, that's what we want to see. You know, we're going to take a leak and we see a guy crying and holding a balloon. All right, pretty, pretty straightforward sink, countertop area. We have the little cat slash dog thing, pretty nice. That's nice, that's a good touch. That's good. The blue I was actually very skeptical at uh, at first, but it actually has come together pretty nicely so far. Okay, I, I mean, I can't help but notice that. It's just, that's a good background. I really like that. Uh, we'll go check out the other wing. Okay, right away I like it. It's very inviting. Um, there's some plastic fruit you can nibble on. Very cool. We got a window right there. Classic chicken thing. The rose, uh, very romantic. Reminds me of how lonely I am. Some negative points. Pretty clean countertops here. I like this. Very, very nice. Oh, I like this too. I like this half wall. Very cool. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, well, I might have to reconsider because that's just weird. <laughs> I don't know, dude, like, coming downstairs and just want to, like, this, I see this thing's facial expression at me and it's like, dude, I just want to come down for a coffee. Why? Wh why? Oh, I like that. It's a good touch. A uh, little, little hiding spot for the cat or dog. Food place. Uh, a leash for your significant other is pretty neat. You got some art stuff on the wall. Pretty cool. Uh, goes in the back room, which leads to the basement. Oh, I like the art there. Good. That's a... Good choice, but I don't know how you're supposed to get those down. So then we go outside. There is a lot going on here. I feel like this is definitely some kind of like chill area. If I was to take LSD for the first time, uh, it would definitely not be here because there's just too much stuff going on. And the gnomes would probably give me some existential crisis. Definitely a pretty chill area though, ultimately. I like the, the decor. Again, it's got like such a weirdly good ratio of stuff to things. Maybe you could have put like some, I don't know, like a chair or something. Is it like a timeout thing maybe? Like somebody's being an annoying brat or something. You just have them here and let them stare at the gnome. I don't know. I can't really think of anything. Go check out the back. Ooh. Pretty cool. You got the like, I think that's a rabbit. You got a nice little rabbit guy just chilling there. Cat maybe. Yeah, obviously my favorite part of the house. <clears throat> flamingos everywhere. Flamingo laying bed thing. You got some flaming flamingo chairs. Flamingo table. Very cool. And then you have the cool hot tub. I'm assuming this is a hot tub. Very aesthetic looking. Very unique. Uh, pain in the ass to clean. Pretty cool design. All right, we'll go downstairs. Now this. This is a lot to take in. Wow. What in the hell? This is not what I expected. What the shit, dude? We have... Nude Gnome. Very... He's winking, too. So, like, it's, it's really weird that the Nude Gnome is winking at you as you're leaving the bathroom. I find that odd. Ashley, can you explain this? Why do you have rooms with nothing in them? What in the fuck are these rooms? <laughs> Missing items? We're missing a single item, is what it said. One item. One. It said one or more. Oh, okay. Well, then that's on me. 100%. Ooh, I like that bathroom. Actually, that's a really cool bathroom. This is so stupid, because this is, like, perfect. I love everything about this. There's nothing in here but the bare necessities. Like, maybe... Maybe one picture on the wall. And I would love it. This is amazing. A huge fan of this. The mirrors are good. It's got this sweet... I like the theme here, the white and the blue. I think that's blue. Uh, this room really speaks to me. Um, I like the rug. It's got a really cool sheets. The lack of windows is really appealing. Uh, let's see what it looks like at night. Yeah, I could probably sleep in here, I think. We obviously have... Uh, very cool exercise room. I like that everybody included like some kind of exercise room. 
Uh, good, good call, good call. We have a storage room. This is actually really smart. You don't see this very often. Storage rooms are... That's a good touch. I really like that. All right, let's go upstairs. Where uh, where do we start? Let's start here. So we go up the stairs to the big room. My first thoughts are the pink stands out. Like the hot pink stands out immediately. Oh, no, it matches the chair. You got your computer. You got your pencils. You got the book that you've been writing on. Big cat. I'm not like a huge fan of this cat, but I do like how it takes up the space and fills it. I think that's neat. You got your little shoe stand, giant plants window um your tv's looking a little weird uh it must be one of those like really new ones where you have to like pull it to the side you know right to left and then it opens up a giant screen pretty cool touch what is this <laughs> sorry i'm like enthralled i don't know what to call this i mean obviously it's art it's for a movie Ooh, i like that nice these little uh these little desk things or whatever then we have, ooh, nice. I like that you covered the window. That's good. All right, I mean, that's a, that's a pretty good touch. I like it. Very green here, very green. Very green. I like the room. It's like really open, but it feels like, I don't know, usually I don't like rooms that are this big, but it feels nice. It's not, it doesn't feel like a continuation of the bedroom over here at all. It feels like there's a wall up without there having to be a wall. I don't know why, but it just feels like that. Uh, maybe it's the 12 windows stacked on each other. Uh, that's like one thing I don't really like, glare on my computer, but I guess blinds exist. Pretty neat. After that, we'll go over here. I mean, like, this is pretty nice, right? Very, very generic, straightforward. I like it. Okay, now we have another bedroom, it looks like. This goes to the kitchen, I believe. Living room? Okay. So you come upstairs and you see uh, Jim and Pam right here from the office. Uh, looks like they're getting a divorce. Uh, pretty classic take on the, the dog's gambling art piece. Another computer. Nice. Clutter on the ground. Fancy looking mirror. Very interesting. Nice art piece. Just a blood splatter. Pretty cool. Massive penguin TV. Good touch. Again, not really sure what that that appeal is you got the classic dreams go above you got the dinosaur picture i really like those sheets um for your elbows and this is because you have a cold of course you got a refrigerator up here interesting choice i guess you do get hungry at night i would assume and here's the bathroom pretty straightforward all right you know pretty chill overall pretty cool i like uh, i like the house very neat. Probably a solid 8 out of 10. It's like simplistic, but very good. I like it. I placed Lil Simsy's build on this lot before, therefore there is an original by Lil Simsy on the description. I hate this bug Lamau. How do I... <sighs> I already don't like it. This is probably already an F. Alright, so first of all, I can already tell whoever lives here is pretentious as hell. I can already tell... Whoever, whoever lives here is a pretentious douche. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now that these are 100% the vibes I'm getting. Like, there's a guy named Alfred in here who, who happens to be the butler guy. First of all, why is this here, actually? Genuinely curious. Is this a light? What is this? It's a light? Okay. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm going to start with the negatives. I don't like that. I don't like that these exist. I feel like a sprinkler or something would be better off here. I thought these were AC units at first. I saw this and I was like, oh, it's probably one of those like outdoor AC units. No, just garbage. One actual genuine complaint. Don't like these lights in the middle here. This place is too big. Way, way too big. Pretty looking at night, though. I do like the lights at night. I don't like them during the day. I think they look ugly. If they're the kinds of lights that would rescind into the ground or descend, I think they would look a lot better. This is a nice touch. I've always had like kind of a soft spot for giant trees with stuff underneath them. Um, I like I like this. I really do. I like the barbecue uh, table right here. I'm a fan. I'm sucker of that. Very, very neat. Uh, we have a weed house in the back. Yuda, shame on you. Uh, very uncool. Pretty nice. Actually kind of cool. Lots of plants outside that. I don't know if you necessarily need the plants outside of it. I don't know. I feel like I trip over this coming out. I'd open it up and then just immediately fall face first into it. Long pool. Long, long pool. Very long. Extremely long. Man, half the pretentiousness emanates from this pool. Nothing inside. Got some late night lights. Pretty neat. Eh, decent, you know, couple of chairs. Really, really long walkway here. Nothing, nothing going on. I guess that's fine. I feel like there needs to be like some kind of lighthouse maybe right here. You know, you get the hot tub. 
Oh, this is cool. I like this, actually. Yeah, you have like a little walkway here and you have like the, the grass, you have the fountain. That's that's cool. I can see birds like coming in. There's like maybe some overgrowth on it. I like that. It's a really scenic touch. Uh, I like the wizard hat. It's a good it's a good nod to all the abominations I've made in the past. Um, I really like this touch right here. This is a good touch. I really like the fact that this house has a beard. Outdoor activities, it's got the nice little, it's just an overall nice area. I like this, this is probably my favorite part of the house so far in the backyard. Uh, this. Pathetic, kids park dude, very pathetic. You're, you're sitting here on the table and you're like, little Timmy, I need you to go play. <laughs> go have fun on the park. It's just monkey bars. That's it. I mean like, what, there's dirt they can eat too, I guess? I do like the entrance here a little bit. I feel like this needs to be gated off, but... Um, gated off here, gated off here. This can be open. I think this is fine if it's open. Uh, very, very pretty looking house for sure. Okay, we'll go in the front. Eh, there's not a lot of room. There's nothing out front. It's fine. This doesn't have to be fancy. Then we go inside. All right, so you first come in, and to the right and the left, you'll notice immediately that the aesthetic looks very pleasing. It's a very, like, mellow look. Nice... You got a little bench there. That's that's nice. When I go get the mail or roll in the, the garbage can recycling, I definitely, definitely need to sit down. That's a good touch. It's got a very nice little art piece going on here. It says Frodo uh, right there. I don't know why. That's not the Shire. Really, really formal looking. Way, way too formal looking for me in here. Uh, very nice overall. I feel like I don't belong here. I, I don't feel welcome. I don't have enough money in my pockets to enter this room. Then we have the nice cozy kitchen. Why do you have a defibrillator right here? What is this? What kind of stuff do you got going on in your house that requires a defibrillator? That's a good amount of windows, I think. Three, three seems pretty nice. Two is probably good. Three seems all right. A little more than that, excessive, but it's okay. Um, you got a smoke detector, you got a microwave. I like, again, I'm a sucker for this wood. I don't know what it is. I just like the dark wood. It looks really nice. Interesting that we just go from this weird paint wallpaper to this. Like, the, the jump here seems really odd to me. I like how it leads out to the back, though. That is nice. Then we'll go into this room. What do we got? Nice little bathroom. Very pretty. Very, very chill. Very relaxed. Is there a shower in there or what? Half bathroom. All right. You got the Pixar lamp. Pretty nice. Oh, I like that. That's actually cool. I like that. I like that quite a bit. It's a very, very, like, cozy den, or sorry, like, living room area kind of deal. This is for your dog or cat. What in the hell is this? Is that an iPhone? What is this? <laughs> what is this? What? Yuda, why do you have this here? Are your allergies in full effect every time you're on your computer? I think we all know what it's for. Let's go back in this, uh, this area. We'll go downstairs. You kept the uh, you kept the mirrors. All right. There's a lot of there's a lot going on down here. I can respect it. Kind of messed up that you have an aquarium here when there's a better. Why? Well, hold on. Why? Why the fuck is this here? This just looks hazardous. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like anything would have been better here. Anything. So I don't like this. I think this is terrible, and I mean that in the nicest way possible. Like everything else in this house is is fairly good. This is just this is awful. I don't like this. I will come downstairs and I will kick it or like, I don't know, I'm a lanky guy so I'll probably like hit it or something in some way, shape or form and I'll fall down and cry. Like that's how I foresee that happening. Nice, nice like painting thing here. I don't know what the purpose of this is, like what, what do you put in here? Oh, this is cozy. I like this. Is it like an office kind of thing? Yeah. Oh, this is pretty, okay, this is like an executive den kind of thing. It's like a, it's like a weird pseudo office. This is actually a really cool take. I really like this. This is this is very aesthetically pleasing right here. The rocks is a nice touch, I like the ferns. Uh, very very cool. You got a you got a nice little workout room here. What what is this? What is this thing? You know, what the hell is this? What is this like oils and stuff? What, what somebody's supposed to lay down on the mat and then like a friend get your back or something? What what the hell is that? Ooh, I like the speakers. I can play my annoying music and you guys don't have a choice. Ooh, I like the bathrooms actually quite a bit. I like that design. The zigzags are sick. Really, really big fan of that. I don't like those toilets, though. Those are horrible. That's just the worst toilet you could possibly have picked there. There's no support except on the wall. I don't like that. 
Got the showers, is fine. Ooh, I like the lockers. Good touch. Um, little head in the clouds, though. Uh, you have, like, three machines. And you have, like, 30 locker spots here. Kind of a little unrealistic, Yuda. Okay, and we'll go upstairs. Go over here. Go above. So you come upstairs. And you get a little cozy room. You know, just a chill little room. Just come hang out, I guess. You got a nice little bathroom. Uh, this is in the bedroom, it looks like. Yeah. Cozy bedroom again. I, I really like the idea of a small, condensed, very, very tight-knit uh, bedroom. Simplistic. Weird how this is not against the wall. I don't know. What, what, do you, what do you plan on doing back there? I have no idea. Very strange. What 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 is this? Is this like a writing thing? Who writes anymore? So we go out to the balcony. Okay. It's like a little walkway balcony, and you got a little art artist alley section. You really got to clean this. This looks terrible. Follow it over here, enter a nice little room, you enter it, there's like a nice floral pattern rug thing, very, very nice, pleasant looking. I like the colors, they're very bland, but that's nice for me. Um, this is a prison, uh, symbolic of the house we're currently touring. Okay, you got a little pink action going on, alright, you got like, uh, I think that's like a pink wall, I think. Ooh, I like that. Uh, knowing my dumbass, I try and walk up these, uh, and then break them. Very cozy, very nice. This this keyboard's disgusting. I don't know why you need a mirror above that. Just stream and have your OBS be your mirror. It's that easy. Kind of a quaint little guest room though. I mean, ultimately, like the only thing it's missing is like a like a bathroom, right? But I mean, that's next door. Which begs the question: Why you can't just add a door right here? Oh, super dumb. This prevents the door, so you have to leave your room when you're bare ass naked uh, to use the bathroom, which has a shower. So, okay, I actually kind of like this. This little, uh... I'm not really sure why I like this, actually. There's no logical reason why I like this. Uh, but I feel like something could go right here, maybe. Or maybe right here. Something like a little... I don't know. Some kind of, like, not desk, but... Small standing something would be cool. Um, and then for some reason you have a college dorm room here. I hate this room. I don't like it. <laughs> you have a picture of a random family in here. I, I don't know if I like this room. I feel like it could have been anything else and it'd be fine. I get the aesthetic quite a bit. I just don't like it at all. <laughs> I, I I mean, I know I'm being harsh, but I don't like this. I feel like if maybe the room was a tiny bit bigger, like stretched out, like two tiles this way, it could have been done a little bit nicer. I don't like this. This is too small. This is way too small. Which is weird because I like when it's really tight knit and cozy. This is this is too claustrophobic for me. They have servant stairs. Oh, maybe that's the yeah. You know what? We could write it off. This is the servant quarters, I guess. And you come out here. Okay, this is basically the same over here, but there's nothing. Um, maybe like a bench or something could be right here. Just kind of like, you need a place to go to to, you know, kick your your leg up, and then laugh at people that walk by because you're so much better than them when you're in this house. I think that'd be a really good touch. Overall, really, really impressive house. Very, very nice. I like this area a lot, actually. It's just got so much life to it. Uh, it feels very, like, this feels very realistic right here. This feels like something you could actually see. Downstairs was really cool. I like that business area. It's like an executive secret meeting area. I sure as hell would never live here because, let's be realistic, I'm never going to make that money, so. Pretty cool. Definitely an 8 out of 10. How'd you guys, how'd you guys like the, the first rendition of the Shellish Challenge? Was it, did it, did it meet your guys' standards? I was, I was trying to be nicer than I should have been. I, I feel like you guys did pretty well.